What's up guys, it's Josh here with Basement Level Magic. We are going to go ahead and do, what is this, our fourth league match with our Grixis Dragons. It is kind of a mid-range deck. Alright, um, this hand's a bit slow. Uh, against an unknown opponent, I'm okay with keeping it though. We'd definitely like to see some kind of interaction spell come along. I'm just going to play out the Sunken Hollow. We do have our basics right now, plus we've got some fetch lands. I just want to be able to uh, cast double blue if I wanted to. You know, if I had drawn a Silmgar Scorn, but I didn't. We do have Fiery Impulse up in case our opponent plays, say, a Jace. And he does. So that worked out great, and our opponent is stuck on lands. Unfortunately, if we had actually played out our um, fetch land last turn, got a basic, and played a fetch land this turn, we actually would have been able to play Tassiker. Just play out my basic. Now I can I can go grab our uh, dual lands with our fetch lands next turn. All right, and he had a backup Jays. I think Draconic Roar would be probably our best draw here. Yeah, Radiant Flames will probably be okay though too. I think we just want to keep him off of off of doing really anything with that Jace. So just keep playing the mono removal stuff. Grab my smoldering marsh and go ahead and pass the turn. And then next turn we'll be able to really really start doing some action. There's Gideon. And we can actually kill Gideon immediately with our Colgan. I'm just going to grab the mountain. I want to be able to get fetch more stuff with my uh, other fetch lands. We just want to kill Gideon right now. And we're not too worried about the tutu. We've got lots of removal for small creatures. Alright, so here we can play our Thunderbreak Regent and our Tassiger. Uh, he might have an Ojitize command. He does not, though. Wow, no, no play from him. And I don't see any black on his side, so that would make you think he's not playing. Okay, and that's that's a that's decent. But him not playing black is definitely good for us. It's no instant speed crackling doom then. Um, right here, we could either, either replay our Tassiger or just start attacking with 
I think I'm going to play out the Coil Against Storm's Fury. We do have a backup, so I'm not too worried about letting it sit there and be uh, possible fodder for a instant or a sorcery speed removal. Which I don't think Jeskai, the regular Jeskai, plays a ton of uh, sorcery speed removal spells. I just don't really want to be constantly replaying Coligan. Because an instant speed removal spell will just uh, be really difficult for us. So he's targeting Coligan. I'm surprised if he knew that he was going to do that, that he didn't do that before we attacked. Alright, so if he is not... If he doesn't have an instant speed removal, we just kill him right now. We'll just attack at him, especially since we have a second Colgan in our hand. Yeah, so not quite sure what, what the game plan was there. It looks like we are playing against just straight Jeskai. Uh, a couple Gideons, Jeskai Charms, and Jace. So, I don't know that I need a need Colgan's command in this matchup. Um, we could bring in... I've really been loving this infinite obliteration. <laughs> I'm almost tempted to bring that in just for... Uh, just to take out Jace. I do want to bring in the Radiant Flames. Odd. I actually have a lot of cards I don't necessarily feel like I need to bring in. I feel like the matchup is set up pretty well. Um, I mean, Cole against Command would be decent, but he didn't have a lot of actual outright removal spells, at least not in the main deck. Um, we could bring in like an ultimate price, which can take out a Jace as well as as well as like ally tokens. Otherwise, just a simple disdainful stroke would be good against uh, Gideon, but that's about the only card we saw. You would think he's probably got Dig Through Time or Treasure Cruise, so disdainful stroke might be useful. I'm actually gonna bring in one Colgan's command. I guess keep in one Cole Against Command. I've actually been a little bit underwhelmed with Cole Against Command so far. I'm, uh, after playing the first three league matches, I feel like maybe it is maybe better out of the sideboard. And that'll free up a little bit. Um, we can pick some other stuff. Ooh, uh, we will keep this. I like having Silmgar scoring on turn two. This is one of those spots where I actually I like having Shivan Reef. Ah, stupid Jace. They always have it on turn two, you know. So I'm really tempted to do the Flooded Strand, and I can do a second second island if we need to. 
Yeah, if our opponent plays a turn three play, we will just counter it. All right, and let the card selection begin. All right, and he got rid of another Jace. We'd like to see him try to uh, play a Mantis Rider here and then counter it. Yeah. That'll put him back just a little bit. The nice thing is we actually have a, another uh, Selengar Scorn, which they never are prepared for that, I feel. <clears throat> he is going to be flipping his Jace fairly soon, but right now, uh, the good thing is he actually doesn't have any instants or sorceries in his graveyard to be able to flash back. And we can counter that again. And then I'll go grab a Smoldering Marsh. Get our Redlands online, because we're going to play our Thunderbreak Regent next turn. That might change things. Uh, we could just go ahead and get rid of Jace right now. Um, but right now, him not having Ojitai's command up makes me feel like it's a good time to go ahead and play the Thunderbreak region. I may be wrong there. Um, he does have a Jeskai charm in his graveyard right now, so he'll be able to flash that back. But, yeah, we'll see. Okay, and he just, so he did the minus two, but he didn't even do it on our creature. That uh, has to be a mistake. So what I'm torn between I don't like playing Icefall Regen unless I'm getting uh, value for it. But Coligan, I could right now just play it out and then have Thunderbreak Regent take Jace down to, two, down to one. I think I'm actually just going to play Thunderbreak or attack Jace, get, get him down to two so that he can't flash back anything. Because whether it's at one or two, it doesn't really change things. Okay, and surge, but we'll get it down. We'll get him down to three. And then we can play our Icefall Regent. The good thing for us about our opponent having Surge of Righteousness in the graveyard is it, it's really difficult for him to be able to use it against us. Alright, so we could go ahead and kill one of his guys. Or actually, we, we could kill his... kill his knight and then leave up the the counter spell not sure if that benefits us a ton though i 
I think we just dash in our coal again. <clears throat> yeah, I want to kill Gideon and I want to get Jace down pretty low. Oh, actually, it'll kill Jace if he doesn't have a, another Surge of Righteousness. Sweet. So kill both, both Planeswalkers. I have to think that it's going to be pretty difficult for our opponent now. So I'll just play out the other Regent. Our opponent has his one creature tapped down. And then this way, when we attack with Cole again, it's just going to be lights out. Yeah, that uh, that card does not scare us in any way. Yeah, two two first strikers are not doing a lot against against dragons. Um, so if we Dash and Coligan will be attacking for 21. Otherwise, we could do Radiant Flames to kill his board. Silumgar, we could play Silumgar and wipe his board as well. Um, if we go for it, then we're potential, potentially not not doing well against like a Surge of Righteousness. I'm just going to do the... It's a little slower play, but I feel like it's the safer play. And then that'll, that'll wipe his board. Get him down to 9, and then it will be pretty much impossible unless he's got... Yeah, I was going to say, unless he had a End Hostilities or something there. Alright, so there you go. We just beat a Jace Gideon deck, which is kind of what we are trying to build. Um, we're trying to build our decks without Jace and Gideon because those are the, the two most expensive cards on Magic Online right now for for standard constructed. As you saw, we uh, pretty much just dominated it. All right, hopefully you guys like this. Uh, continue to come come back and watch. Uh, we are brewing this deck, so I am looking for any kind of feedback if you guys think. Um, there's good fixes to the deck, please let me know. All right, we'd love your subscribe as well. Once again, this is Josh here with Basement Level Magic. Thanks.